Sponsor Lifestyle. Hey folks, this is David Smith at Correctional Officer Lifestyle. Today I'm doing a video on why officers quit. Um, it's a rather serious topic. Why are we losing so many new officers? Why are we not able to retain new staff? Okay. Um, yes, the counties are paying more money than we are. And we have counties around us that are absolutely killing us. They're paying more money than we are and they're taking our people left and right. But that's not the root of the problem. The root of the problem, because they came into corrections, they had the opportunity to go to the county, but they chose to come to the state. So why aren't we able to keep them? Uh, money is part of it, but it's not the only thing, okay? Um, we have a brotherhood in the Department of Corrections. It is a brotherhood. It is a family. It is a cohesive unit where people need to feel as though they belong. People need to feel like they're part of the family. People need to feel like they're part of a group. Um, if you do not have that with these new people, then they're not going to feel welcome. And why would you want to stay anywhere where you don't feel welcome? Okay. Um, the Department of Corrections has always had cliques. Always. That's not something new. You have this group of people that are of a like mind. You have this group of people that are of a like mind. You have this group of people that are of a like mind. And you have this group of people that think like nobody else. And those people tend to flock together because birds of a feather tend to flock together. Now, I'm not saying that any one of those is wrong. I'm not saying that any one of those approaches is wrong. I'm not saying that anybody has a rotten approach to corrections, okay? But if you've got a brand new officer that doesn't fit in anywhere, so you get him in and all of a sudden you say say you've been there six months on the job and you haven't left the dormitory in six months, all of a sudden this rookie comes in that might not have the same work ethic that you do, that might not have the same level of commitment or stubborn streak that you do. And as soon as he walks in, you throw your arms up over your head, scream, woohoo, I get to leave somebody in the dorm now and go have fun. Well, this officer sees you throwing him to the wolves, putting him in the dorm while you go off and hang out with the family, hang out with the group, and they're just by themselves in the dorm. Regardless of how often you come back and check on them, if you leave them there constantly, you're going to run them off. Now, as a sergeant, I was the world's worst for leaving people in the dorm, I'm not going to lie to you, I was, but I was also a protection needs investigator, and I always had something to do, but I would go back to that dorm, and I would send that officer out whenever I had a chance. There are officers watching this that are probably going to disagree with that, but if I had the opportunity to go back to my dorm and sit down in air-conditioned comfort for a little bit, by God, I did that. I did that. Um, I have personally been trapped in a dorm as a CO1, as a sergeant, as a lieutenant, and most recently as a captain. Um, as a captain, it was because I was in there doing a dorm check and lady just up and quit put the keys on the counter, and off she went. For reasons that are unknown to me at this time. There's a lot of mitigating circumstances. I know what the straw was to broke the camel's back, but there was a lot of mitigating circumstances to it. And she just, she up and quit. It, it happens in our business. It does. So, don't feel like you're on an island if you're if you're left stuck in the dorm while you let a rookie go out and experience what it means to be a corrections officer. 
because by and large, ignoring a correction officer is going to drive them out the door faster than any kind of money issues can. Folks, take care of the people you get in. They're part of your family. Make them feel welcome. And the best way you can make somebody feeling feel as though they're welcome is to welcome them. Let them be part of the family. Let them do the job. That's all I got for this video, folks. This is Dave Smith at Correctional Officer Lifestyle. Remember, love shouldn't hurt. Abusive relationships don't have any place in this world. If you're in one, find a way out of it. If you know someone that's in one, please help them find a way out of it. If you know the abuser, the worst thing you can do is nothing. Say something to somebody. And if you are the abuser, there's help for you too, my friend. There is help for you too. All you got to do is admit that you need it and ask for it. All right. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications when I post new videos. And if you want to leave me a reply, you want to leave me some feedback, hit me in the comments. This is David Smith at Correctional Officer Lifestyle. I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. Y'all be safe, Pine Defense. See you next time.